This is just a brief demo of using some of the functionality of Researcher to gather information from different web pages and uh, using the side-by-side -side functionality to edit and synthesize. And as an example, I'll take a wiki page on Androgaji. And as you see right now, that page doesn't exist yet, hasn't been started. So let's say I have, I'm reading my notes on a few different articles and uh, they all mention Androgaji. And uh, I want to grab this text, so I'm going to just select this text and click a button. And it says, where do you want to insert this text? So I'm going to insert it into the Androgaji page. Okay, and uh, here's another article which also has some information about Androgaji. So I'm going to similarly clip this text here and just select the text I want. And I'll click another button which says insert the text into the same place you set, sent other text. So in this case, uh, you see text selected to uh, sent to Androgaji. So it remembers where I sent the previous text. So having just sent those two clippings, let's first have a quick look. I'm going to reload this page. And you'll see here that it has a headline. And you have the two clippings that we sent here. And uh, it also included the uh, citation. So we know that uh, this one, for example, came from an article by Paul Bouchard. I've also got a PDF here um, that summarizes some of uh, the principles of Andrew Gaggi. And because this is a table in a PDF, um, I'm actually going to just take a screenshot of it and insert a screenshot. So I'll just uh, take a screenshot like this. And I'll go to edit this page and press one button, which inserts, which moves the picture that I just took into the wiki and inserts a link to it. And here you see that picture. So I've captured the picture that's useful. I've, I've captured some clippings. And of course, I can take clippings from other pages as well. So in fact, um, what I'm recreating here is what I did when I came across this interesting blog post um, talking, criticizing Knowles' concept of Andrew Gaggi. So I was, uh, I was reading here and I was saying, you know, this is really interesting. In fact, not only, so I'm going to take this text and I'm going to, of course, send it to Andrew Gaggi. But it turns out there's a bunch of comments here and some of these were also really good points. So I went through and I captured a bunch of these comments that I thought were most relevant. Then a few people actually responded to this blog post, so then I had to go and read their blog post. So, you know, again, of course, there, there were several things that were quite um, interesting. And when I'd gone through all of this material, I had a huge list of these links that I needed to... Um, I felt like I needed to sort them out somehow. So, you know, going back here, uh, and reloading and you'll see here are the different clippings that I made and of course they're linked back to the web page that they came from. Um, so these are from Learning is Learning and this is from Big Dog Little Dog. So uh, going through I had just a huge list of material that I got from different web pages and now my problem was that I needed to structure this somehow. And uh, the easiest thing uh, actually to do that is um, you can edit a page side by side and you can actually edit the same page um, on both sides. So what I did is I opened Andrew Gaggi, I say edit on side by side and which page would you have? Well, I want the same page, okay? Which simply opens two edit views, right? And what I do is I can uh, uh, keep the text here, I can go up and down and I can start um, from scratch here and I can say you know etymology and I'll copy text over and so on and in the end all I need to do is to save this part of the page and reload and boom I've transformed all this information uh, into one useful page and uh, you can see exactly how it looks right now so after uh, going through the blog post and uh, taking um, a clip, bunch of clippings and then using the side-by-side -side view to edit it, I was able to come up with, you know, some main points, historical development, you know, I was, I think I was able to capture quite well the, the most important things in, in the discussions for me, and uh, this article, now, this page is actually really useful for me, 
and of course um, later when I come across more information about andragogy I'm gonna make sure to add it to this page and, uh, and keep it up to date. So that was a really quick uh, demonstration of how uh, the clip functionality, the ease of uh, doing a, another clip to the same place, and the ease of doing a side-by-side -side edit can help dealing with information. Now, let's say I wanted to um, get some more information from the Wikipedia article about Andrew Gaggi. Um What I could do is I could uh, use the side-by-side -side functionality as well. Um, so I could go to the Wikipedia article and I could pull up my Andrew Gaggi article next to it. And as you see, it, it actually runs this article through Instapaper to strip out all the Chrome. And um, it lets me now go back and up and down this article and very easily add any information that I want. So there's a bunch of different tools you have for moving information from one place to another. And uh, yeah, that was just a, a quick demo and uh, hope it was useful.